right here is a testimony. We're going to tell you of how good the Lord has been. He's been good. He's been faithful. Hello. My name is Joel Otim. I supply fresh fruits and juices. That's what I do. I'm a businessman. I am a testimony of the transformation that uh, since God led me to worship harvest, many things have happened in my life. Most of the worshipers are businessmen, most of them, and women, of course. And the best place to have business incubation and have honest and genuine people in worship harvest, in working with young people, the passion for business has been weaved, especially in my time in worship harvest. So I find myself in a place where I can easily, easily be productive wherever I am and the people around me, G12, uh, great leaders, real people. Hi, my name is Rebecca. I have found my identity in Christ that I am His righteousness no matter what happens and I've been transformed by His love for me that nothing can separate me from His love as we are told in Romans. That keeps me going. I am thankful to Him. And that is the foundation of what I believe, and I thank God for that. Hi everyone, my name is Priscilla Baku. I was struggling with a serious identity crisis. I was born again, yes, involved in different church activities and ministries and leadership. But on the other hand, very sure I was going to hell because I had too many defaults and I didn't think God loved me. So being at Worship Harvest has made me realize that regardless of what it is and what defaults you have, God still loves you. And he, he treasures you. As long as you're born again, His grace is sufficient and He's willing to cause a transformation in your, in your life. And today I live and walk with my head up high, knowing I'm favored by the Lord and the beloved of God and, and God's favorite child. The Thank first you. time I came to worship harvest, I kept thinking, oh my goodness, where have you been all my life? Because I've been struggling to find a church where I can understand what God's love is is really about and when I came to worship harvest I actually discovered what God's love is and I have never been the same. My life has totally changed. I knew about God's love, you know, God loves you, blah blah blah, God loves you. But then experiencing it is another thing, knowing that He really, really does love you. And that is what I found at Worship Harvest. My name is David Mugabe. I thank God for the Mr. of Worship Harvest because it has helped me to Rediscover myself. It has taught me so much about grace and about the fact that it's not about me, but it's about what Christ did for me. And many of the things that are happening to me now is just because my story has been written, and um, it generally allows me to focus on the bigger picture of which, uh, of which I'm just a part. So it has really been a blessing. And in time, it has helped me to be a blessing to other people. My name is Hadassah. Uh, I worship from Worship Harvest Nandi. There are many things Worship Harvest has, has done in my life, but one specific thing is about restoring the joy of my salvation. Coming from a Muslim background with all these rules and regulations on how to pray, how many times to pray, the things you need to do to, be, to have a perfect relationship with God. When I gave my life to Christ, this is what I brought into the relationship. When I came to Worship Harvest, Worship Harvest has taught me the amazing thing about grace. It's, for me, it has been the good news. And I have learned that it is God who wills in me, according to Philippians 2.13. For it is Him who wills in me to act according to His good purpose. So I've learned to relax. I have accepted the good news. And I have been totally blessed by the teachings of Worship Harvest.